Hi everyone, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com. Today I'm taking a look at the swing of Johnson Wagner, who won the Hawaiian Open to start 2012. Uh, he's also finished in the top three in all the tournaments he's played in so far, so he's off to a really good start. And so I took a look at his stats, and there were some things in there that were kind of bugging me, so I wanted to uh, take a look at the swing and see if I could um, figure out why some of his stats were uh, off the tee were not quite as efficient as they could be. And uh, let's take a look at it. I'm going to play it through full speed first. One more time. You know, so obviously he looks like a tour golfer. He's got a smooth, powerful looking swing. Now let's take a look at it in slower motion. Break it down a little bit. The first thing I see here that strikes me as a little odd is uh, matching up with his statistics on tour, which are not very efficient for creating distance. And the first thing I see is a fairly low tee position. Uh, I see only half the ball above the top of the club. And that, when I see that in my students, uh, I'm, it's almost always an indication that the player is going to hit the driver on the downswing with a negative angle of attack. Um, that to me, it starts to fill in a pattern of movement looking at his stats and now the tee height starting to give me some clues to indicate what type of swing he's going to be making. I don't much care for his takeaway. He really picks the club up steeply on the outside so he is going to be hinging his wrists upwards uh, rather than putting the wrists in a powerful position like a, a throw of a baseball. You'll see that his right wrist at the top of the swing really doesn't have a lot of hinge in it. It's fairly straight. And this is usually an effort by the golfer to uh, get the club face uh, pointing more downwards or open uh, which you can see here very much as he approaches the top but this leaves the right wrist in a bit of a too much of a neutral position and you can see the, there's also a slight cupping here of the left wrist. So the wrists are, wrists are not loaded very well. That's the first thing in terms of creating uh, easy club head speed we can look at. But the giveaway of what he could do better here in terms of creating efficient power, uh, like one of my favorite swings I've talked about, uh, Mark Wilson. You can see coming into the ball here, again, his club head is fairly high off the ground when it's close to impact. This is going to be a down strike, a downward angle of attack, which will explain his that he has one of the lowest launch angles um, on tour, unnecessarily because he has just average club head speed. So I could understand if a Gary Woodland or a Dustin Johnson they're averaging 121 miles an hour off the tee. Um, they would need a lower launch angle in order to create an optimal ball flight. But at 109 and change or so, 110, um, Johnson Wagner is hitting a little bit on the low side with a high amount of spin. So what this indicates that he starts with the downstrike, which in itself does not make the ball uh, spin high, but it would indicate that he's hitting downwards with a slightly more lofted club than average, which would uh, give the extra spin. The extra spin loft will create the extra spin. Um, the second thing that would create the extra spin and take away from his driving uh, efficiency as far as distance We'll look at the position of the hips here. Even though his right heel is coming off the ground very early, you can see that the right knee is relatively 
straight. So there's not a lot of bend in the right knee here, even though the heel is well off the ground. The result is that his hip line is very level. Uh, this is indicating that there's very little lateral shift in his downswing, but rather just a flat turning uh, around the spine. This will cause his shoulders to go. This, here's the telling frame here, right here, is when he really starts to pull the club off the plane, and I'll show you that in a minute. But the first thing I want to show you is the flatness of the shoulders. And here they're only at about 30, a little over 30 degrees at this point where we would probably want our shoulders to be much steeper. Uh, in this position, you see he has turned through the ball in a slight over the top position. If he were to release the club fully in this position and freely, he would probably hit a low pull hook that would have this marshal right over here uh, ducking. It would be a smother hook. Uh, therefore, he has to hold off the release of the club, and you can see it quite obviously here in the angle of the shaft on the follow through is so much more vertical than the uh, the downswing plane. Let's let's draw this line in orange here. I'm gonna draw the shaft line. Okay, so you see that how vertical that's gotten compared to the downswing. You see here, I'll draw this one in blue. You see this shaft angle here is much, much flatter. Now that club should be whirling around more on the blue line as it goes through unless he is impeding the club head somehow with the uh, muscular contraction of his hands and forearms to hold off that club from coming through uh, in a free manner. Now what you generally see among uh, golfers who turn flat with their right shoulder riding very high, like in this case, you're going to see a hold off finish with a more chicken wingy type left elbow. Now let's continue the video and we'll see right there. He continues to go into the hold off with his elbow continuing to poke out to the left and there you see there's a full hold off here of the rolling of the forearms and the whirling of the club head uh, on the same plane Instead, he is getting in the way and interfering with the momentum of the club head, actually, in effect, decelerating it or accelerating it less as he goes into the ball than he could be if he were releasing it freely. You see, he just can't. He would smother hook the ball uh, low and left because his body is not in position to support a full release. So, very big contrast to uh, Mark Wilson, for example, who hit the ball very much on the upswing. His bot shoulders will be in a much steeper position in the follow-through, and the club will stay on a constant plane around him as he goes into his finish. Um, in, in that case, his club would be much more down his back this way, uh, much more matching the downswing plane. Uh, so again, uh, Johnson Wagner, yes, he's a fantastic player. Obviously have to have a, a great short game and keep the ball in play to win out on tour. Just a suggestion on what he could do, do better. It looks as though he's missing about oh, 15 yards off the tee uh, with this uh, current way method that, uh, of swinging. And uh, with the wrists unhinged at the top, 
and the lack of compound pivot, he could probably sneak his club hit speed from 110 to 115 fairly easily. And uh, who knows how much extra money that might be worth, him, worth to him in the course of a year. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. I will uh, see you again soon.